today we are making kati kunto it's one of my favorite soup it's easy it's delicious and above all it's super super nutritious so without much ado let's get started so for this recipe i'm going to use chicken i've perfectly washed my chicken pieces so i'm going ahead to season it with some powdered garlic and ginger mixture some chicken cube the chicken cube was super hard as you can see i'm breaking it into smaller pieces i'll go ahead to add about one and a half tablespoons of salt into this to perfectly marinate my chicken and into this i'm adding some blended onions i'm going to give it a quick stir and then leave this to marinate for about 30 minutes i'm going to cover this let it marinate for about 30 minutes and while this is happening let's work on our contemporary i'm just going ahead to take away the spine of the contemporary because growing up i saw my mom do this i think the spine is not really needed so after doing that i'm going to soak my contemporary in salty water because contemporary or vegetables per se really come to our kitchen quite dirty or filled with bacteria and all that stuff so i'm just going to soak it in salty water to remove any bacteria or germ that is in it and whilst i'm soaking i'm just going ahead to work on my pepper my baby will make my community my family really likes pepper so if you think the pepper is too much for you just reduce it after that i'm just after 10 minutes i just took away my contemporary and then added it to my pepper filled it with water and then Put it on fire to cook now look at how dirty the water is so please do want to wash your vegetables with salty water okay because it's healthy and it helps us a lot so about after 10 minutes i'm just going to take away my contemporary off the fire because i do not want to overcook my contemporary i'll just let my pepper boil for an extra five minutes before taking it off fire so while that is happening I'm going to put my marinated chicken on fire to start cooking it anyways you guys are really really the best thank you guys so much for subscribing to my channel thank you for liking my videos thank you for commenting on my videos you guys are the best I've created a lifestyle channel that I'm going to link below so if you want to see more of me outside the kitchen please do want to check that channel out and yeah that's it so my chicken has perfectly cooked by this time i like how it's cooking i'm going to give it a quick stir cover it and let it cook for an extra 10 to 15 minutes i don't know how i lost the footage of me pouring my blended pepper into my chicken but then i think i lost it because i can't find it so this is me adding water to my pepper I'm filling my chicken to the brim because my contemporary and granite piece is a little a dorsal cacra into me. My man at me inquiring is a dorsal. So into the blend, I'm going to add my contemporary and I'll go ahead to add about three tablespoons of peanut butter or granite paste into this. I know a lot of people have different ways of preparing their cutting koto, but this is the way I knew how growing up this is how my mom taught me and it has really been the best. It is the best so far since I've been using this. So I'm just going ahead to blend this and then it came out super nice as a smoothie like look at the color, the consistency and how thick my mixture came out like I was really happy with it. I was so tempted to taste it, to dip my finger in it, but I really controlled myself. <laughs> so by this time, me pepper, or should I say pepper soup, by this time has really cooked perfect. I wake up crying, you know. I'll go ahead to add my contemporary peanut butter mixture into this. Give it a little stir and let it cook for about 20 minutes. Or to, who say I wake up crying. Now they are by a lower burner, so say by a angry bray. So this is on a higher burner after cooking for about 15 minutes. Yeah, as you can see, a fruit pad. At this time, it was on the the bigger burner, I think. And you know, after some time, I'm just going to lower the burner and put it. Make sure say a fruit can can as you can see. By this time, it was cooking perfectly. So I'll just go ahead to add about one teaspoon of um 
tomato paste <laughs> i nearly forgot what i was going to say tomato paste into this give it a quick stir and allow my soup to cook like at this time my soup was perfectly cooked to make jam and an icy soup for bare extra 10 to 15 minutes and then your katikonto will be ready to be served with amutu banku but i really enjoy mine with fufu anyways thank you guys so much for sticking with me to the end of the video please do watch to check my lifestyle channel out and i'll see you guys in my next video bye